Hello there. This is Cindy at cindybdesigns.com. Thank you for joining me today. Those are the cards that we'll be making. We're only making one. That is a concept card on page seven. Seven of Celebration. This is a card that we'll be making today. All I did was change the colors to something maybe a little bit more masculine, you know, because it's dark. So that is a concept art card on page seven. It's a shaker card. It's really easy to make. There's some good height to it. And there's a couple cutting tricks I'm going to show you along the way. And the Metallic Baker's Twine and Sequins Combo Pack is used on that. All this is made out of the, the lovely Lily dies, stamps, you name it. So we're going to be bringing in a stitched circle die, the largest one. That is the lovely Lily. You can or lovely Lily pad. You can only get these products in or from the celebration catalog, which means $50 purchase before taxes and shipping. And then you get to pick one of these for free. Our sentiment sentiments are going to be from sending you thoughts. Uh, I've been kind of hooked on that a little bit lately, along with thanks for the laughs. Again, that's metallic Baker's twine and sequence combo pack. And that's Bermuda Bay. Clips of Coral and So Saffron, and that was the ink that we're going to use. I have a four and a half square card base, and that's Bermuda Bay. It's going to be top folding. And I grabbed a piece of the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper, and that is cut to four and a half square as well. And it is a full panel, making sure I put it down the right way, and I'm going to adhere it right on top of that and I use the Stamparatus a lot to help me line up cardstock and everything so I was checking to make sure that everything lined up if it doesn't you can go ahead and take it over to your trimmer real quick and clean up those ends so I'm bringing the Stamparatus back in now and I'm just going to be adding a little piece of that leftover DSP to the bottom there and I grabbed a stylus to kind of make a little score line there to let me know how much liquid adhesive to put on and I've been using that a lot more than snail lately as well so I bring in my little steamroller and get everything you know set up and I'm trimming off the edge and that panel there since this is a four and a half square card is going to be four and a quarter square and I'm going to be bringing in my sentiments picking one out it's going to say sending you a little something and that's going to be put down in memento tuxedo black and I know this seems like a femme card a little bit but I'm actually gonna send it to my youngest son who just bought his first brand new car and it's not a Bermuda Bay color it's maybe darker but I'm real proud of him and he likes shaker cards so th that was the thing here and I'm making him a shaker card and the sequins are again kind of like the same color so I'm cleaning off that stamp there with the stamp cleaning pad and I have two of them one is for darker or regular ink and the other one's for red because red it needs its own cleaning pad now I'm choosing the sentiment that we're going to put on the front that is a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock and I'm lining that up making sure everything's straight on the Stamparatus you know taking it over to the side like I normally do and getting that lined up I'm going to get the embossing buddy I'm going to rub that across the piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock real quick that's going to be inked up with Versamark ink and I'm going to sprinkle white embossing powder over that and then heat set it so anyhow I didn't have our or um I didn't have the flu maybe like a little teeny tiny touch but it, but it mainly turned out to be allergies and you know a little strep throat double ear infection th that kind of little kid stuff so yeah that, that wasn't too fun and it was snowing the entire time remember what I told you about the heat setting let it warm up get hot for a good minute heat setting number one is to dry ink number two is to heat emboss so we have that done now and I will have the measurements and everything over on the blog you know or let them know if they are 
to as I'm shattering here. I think I'm going to end up cutting that. Yes, I'm going to end up cutting that sentiment down. That is a little mini Stampin' Mini Trimmer. And again, if you want one, shoot me off an email, cindy at cindybdesigns.com. And I will let you know how to get that. And it comes with that 6x6 DSP paper pack. I'm pulling in the Big Shot now. And again, that is the largest stitched circle that I have. And that is regular Whisper White cardstock. You want to cut two from Whisper White. And my Big Shot's a little bit tight, so I have to make sure I can get it squeezed out the right way or where I'm not damaging the paper. I am bringing in window sheets right now. That is a Swiffer cloth. It is kind of plasticky window, so it gets very, very staticky. And I think that was like a four inch square. And you want to cut one from that because that's going to be the top of our shaker card and then get that pulled out and you're going to see me wipe that down a few times because I'm going to set it aside. It's going to pick up static and you know how that goes. This part, it wasn't challenging, but pay attention here and I'm going to do my best to talk you through it. We That stamp set is reversible stamps. So I'm getting the largest of the Lily image and I'm not putting it on the solid side. I'm putting it on the side with, with the lines. You can feel the difference. And that's going to get inked up in Mel and Mambo. And I put it to where it would be right in the middle of that circle. And the largest one is about three inches. And that is what it's going to look like. And I think that you're going to see me bring in my other stamp cleaning pad. So you want to wipe it down first and then you saw the red X I have on my label there on top of the stamp pad. That's how I differentiate between the two. So I got that cleaned up real quick. Kind of let that dry in the meantime because Melon Mambo is, is it's a fuss. You know it's red. It's a fussy color. That is a piece of vellum cardstock pencil. I am wrapping or I took a pencil and I just drew an outline of the circle that we used. Purple painters tape, I use that a lot. It's not super sticky to keep things together as I need them together. And I need to get that image centered up because we're going to do some negative die cutting from that. So I'm grabbing the frame, I'm getting it all lined up in front another piece of that painter's tape. I'm putting it down. I removed kind of like my template or, or the our image panel where we got it from. And now I'm messing with it and I'm thinking because I had done one sample a couple days earlier and you know, yeah, time passes. You kind of forget. Pulled it up, getting it set up again. And I do get this figured out. It just looks a lot more tedious than it needs to be. Now, when you see me flip it over back and forth, I'm making sure that with the stitch dies, you want the pretty side up front. So that is how I put it together. Lots of tape, but it does work out. And are there easier ways to do this? Uh, I'm sure there is, but that worked for me. That is going to be the top of our shaker and it's going to end up lining up perfectly as you will see. So I'm taking just a little bit of Tombow Mono and putting down a very, thin line, but it's got to be a good line all the way around because I'm going to put our adhesive sheet, not the adhesive sheet, the, the window sheet, clear plastic or whatever, and it's going to fit perfectly on top of that and lay it down. I am taking my, you can take your bone folder or a steamroller and I'm pulling 
I'm adhering it outwards so that way any glue does not go towards the inside. A little bit when on the adhesive sheet, all you have to do is grab an alcohol wipe, a little bit of alcohol that you have on hand, and that pulls it right off any type of um, plastic window sheet like that. So I'm grabbing, and I'm just setting all that aside, I'm grabbing our inside panel, putting some liquid adhesive on that, centering that up top to bottom, left to right, give that a good press down all the way, and that is what our inside looks like. And we're gonna get to the front of the card right now. Now that is some of the Bermuda Bay twine that comes in that metallic twine pack. That's also a celebration item. So everything that I'm using on this shaker card is a celebration that you can only get, you know, for free with purchase. That painter's tape is very invaluable to me. I use it a lot. It helps me keep just things together. And I'm making sure that I have that, our image circle in the middle there. Get that nice and secured and set up. The steamroller to me is like quicker than using a, a block. Those are our adhesive foam strips I'm bringing in. And I know that plastic and sequins are going down, so I, I brought the Swiffer cloth back in. You're gonna need a whole strip of that. And you wanna take it around the very outer edges of the image panel. It's easier if you pull the release tape off. It's a lot easier, it's night and day difference because it makes the foam adhesive strip, strip a lot more pliable. Get that all the way around there and make sure it's tight because you don't want your sequins flying out. Take your snips and then cut off the excess and get everything down. Now there are 750, it, it, yeah, you use the um, Swiffer on your hands, wherever you can, your desk, because sequins also have a lot of static on, and then you're putting in more static with that window sheet. Again, there's 750 sequins in that pack, three colors, and I, I spent time separating that out. And you get two different sizes. The foam tape is double-sided. So now I'm standing up like really super tall on my tippy toes. Actually, I wasn't, I had like my knees on my chair doing this, so I, I would get it right as I was trying to film this. And that is going to fit perfectly on top. And there we go. I mean, it's, it's really that simple, believe it or not. And I know that this is a longer video and I apologize for that, but great height and everything. So I'm taking a little bit more of the foam sheets and I'm putting it down at the right hand side of the sentiment. And then just cutting that off and saving what I have. I'm gonna put a little bit of Tombow Mono over on the left. Pull off the backing on the right and just get that sized up and everything like that. The next thing I'm going to do is pull back in our twine, tie a bow, get that down. But I do have more concept cards coming up for you tomorrow. That will be on page six. All three of them, of the celebration, all three of them actually, because I did decide to focus a little bit on the lovely little pad. I think, I don't know, from Thursday, yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but it's a lot of fun to make. I haven't made a shaker card on video for a long time. And I hope that this just gives you some ideas, helps you out a little bit. And we're just getting that down now. I think that this celebration and the spring catalog that we have going on now is fantastic. I would love to see this carry over and Again, there's 16 colors in the designer series paper. Glue dots to make sure my little bow stays down, my little twine bow. And those glue dots came from an old paper pumpkin. I keep all that stuff there. 
So we're just going to get everything lined up here and get it down. But if you want any of our catalogs or brochures, again, go ahead and shoot me off an email, cindy at cindybdesigns.com. And we're getting to the end here. And that is what we look like. If you're not comfortable with the white in the middle, again, you can always take a Stampin' Right marker and go around the foam tape. I, I would do that before you kind of lay it down since you know that you're gonna need an entire strip to do it. There is the concept card to the left. And I think that they're just the cutest things in the world. I do wanna thank you for stopping by and joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Please hit like and subscribe. Check out the concept cards tomorrow. And again, there's a look at our stamp set and dice and everything. I hope that you have a great Sunday. Go Chiefs, right? God bless, and I'll see you next week. Bye.